I'm here with West Virginia Mountaineer running back Lady Brown and defensive lineman Dante Stills. How you guys doing? Good, good. Great. How are you? I'm good, money. I'm good. All right. So first, I want to acknowledge how fresh y'all look. Both of y'all showed up in full suits. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate, appreciate it. What inspired the choice? Um, just come best dressed and do your yeah, best. Yeah, really like, best dressed. Yeah. You look good. You do good. You look good. You play good. I want the dark blue, but I just went to a, a little lighter. No, I like it. And I like the blue tie, too. Appreciate it. And ain't no clip-ons in here. No. Yeah, no. nah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, though. And we got earrings in, and I got... Well, all right, so I got to ask. Who do your hair? My mom's friend. Oh, for real? Yeah. She she retwisted? Retwisted, okay. braided, all that. How long she says it take to get the retwist? It take... I mean, for me, it probably take an hour and a half. Hour, hour and a half? Hour 15 for her to, well, twist them and then, yeah, braid them. Man, bro, I'm getting It's up quick. To it ain't, it ain't, nah, nah. See, see, my partner does it, yeah, right? Yeah. And my whole head take about three hours. Three hours. So I, yeah, nah, I take it down on his ponytail and you'll see. Phew, oh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, like it's, it's all there. Plus, you got to see the scalp. Oh, you got to right, see the right. scalp. Nah. All right, Letty, I just talked to Coach Brown. Mm -hmm. Talk about the season you had last year. What he expects you to do this year. What do you expect for yourself? Um, nothing less. Mm -hmm. I expect me to do what I did last year, but even more. Like, you can't do what I did last year and take a step back. Mm. You got to take steps forward, especially like for me, like I feel like I haven't been getting the respect that I deserve. So I'm kind of playing with that chip on my shoulder at all times. That's what's up. Dante, how about you? Um, just do better than last year. You know, last mm. year um, I had a good year, um, like technique wise and like my, my footwork and stuff like that. But like it didn't show up on the stat sheet, which down me you, you played bad. It just like you know just stat, you know, stay come and go. But uh, for me, I, I'm just trying to be the best, you know, the best in the country. That's kind of like my goal, my mindset. What can Jared Daigie do to build on 2020? I feel like he had a pretty good season last year, but if he take more control of the offense this year, we'll be unstoppable. Yeah, I mean, I agree because like I'm I'm on the opposite side. So like I, I seen in practice, he's definitely taking more control, stuff like that. So like the, you know, last year, you know, I feel like this year he's going to be a, a, a great player for us. You know, he's he'll make a lot of plays, cause people to make plays, put the ball in the right position, and just be a, a, a good QB for us. Sure. At I've been to Millen Pupscar, been there a couple of times, right? And one of the things I'm always impressed about is how loud it gets when it's full. What's it like for y'all? to know that it's going to get back to that going into 2021. Chills. <laughs> Just imagine a stadium packed out. Any game, night game, afternoon game, morning game, it's packed out. Fans yelling, fans screaming, and they hear to cheer, cheer, on, cheer us on. So, like, me standing in that tunnel, like, I get chills. Dante, what you got? I'm definitely excited. You know, it's, it's definitely a, a, a hostile environment, you know, mm. for sure. It's it, it gets rowdy. People, the fans start talking, they start booing and stuff like that. So I'm definitely excited for the atmosphere for sure. No, nah, man, like it's not just the crowd. It's a hostile environment right. because there's ice on the field and it's snowing. And, <laughs> and don't, Virginia, no, I'm about to say, don't, don't, nobody, <laughs> don't, don't nobody or nothing like you up there. Yeah, that ain't it's already West Virginia, up there. Yeah, it's a whole different for sure. Nah, man. All right, so take a look at these. This is the defense. This is the offense of what I think is the best all-time team in Big 12 history. So if I miss somebody, let me know who I miss, but tell me who you putting on. Carl Joseph's not on here. Carl Joseph is not on there. Who are you taking Tavon. off? Tavon. Tavon. Tavon? Who are you taking off? I'm going to take off one of these older I mean, cats that I don't really know. I, I mean, so I I'm think Tavon, I've, not, I've never seen nobody like Tavon ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I take, I would say CD. Even though he, I mean, I don't know, I don't really don't know the other guy, so I'll put him off. I'll take him off Mark Andrews. Tight end? Yeah. Just because just okay. I don't. Okay. okay. All right, I'm going to take off. Derek Johnson for Kyle Joseph. All right, so Mark Andrews won a Mackey Award as best tight end in the country 2017. Oh, he's tight end. Okay, uh, and I get to Tavon. Man, Coach Brown came through here talking about where's Tavon. Yeah. <laughs> he also was like, where's David Long? Like, 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we forgot one. We forgot one. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that dude right there, I ain't never. Listen, mm-hmm. Every time I, so it was my freshman year when I played with him. I tell you what, he did not stop. Like, every play was, he, I'm in the backfield. Like, it's crazy. Oh, my, my freshman year, I played running back. He played Mike linebacker. He tried to bully the freshman. We fought every camp practice. Every camp practice. <laughs> no, I appreciate that, though, because, A, you showing some heart there, mm-hmm. and, and, B, no, nah, I'm the alpha on this team. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm with that. I'm with that. All right, so who we were placing to get Carl Joseph on the team? Derek Johnson. Derek, you said – you ever seen that man play linebacker? No, I, I said I was going to get one of these older players that I don't know off the board. <laughs> that, that's what I said. That's what I said. Okay. All right. I, I haven't seen him play. I don't know what he, he do on the he, field. He, he hunting like Carl Joseph. He a linebacker. He Mike. All right, but there's other he linebackers Mike. on here, though. Yeah, but you picked him. Yeah, I'm still but picking him. But you picked him. him. I'm still picking him. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So, so you want a 4-2-5. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, obviously Vince Young, you know, he's that dude. Adrian Pearson. But I really don't – I mean, the only O-lineman I really know is Trent Williams that I know of, like, right now. I mean, there's a lot of good O-lineman I went up against, though. A lot. Nah, man. Like, nah, the, the, you, this this going back to, like, the 90s. Yeah, this is mm-hmm. going back. Yeah. So. And then I got to remember – most of y'all born in the late 90s. Yeah, right? so mm-hmm. it's kind of hard to like yeah, it's Exactly. Kind of, you know, I'm 34. Y'all got me out here feeling old. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Talking about, I don't know these cats. I'm like, yo, he played like 10 years ago. Nah. You know? Like, Justin Blackman was over there, like, winning back-to-back with Olympic yeah. Awards. Mm-hmm. But say, I definitely recognize him. CD, obviously. Anderson. Like, yeah, Anderson Pearson. Vince Young. But the O-Lyman and, like, yeah. I mean, this is a good list, though. I mean, it's like you, like you know more about this era than we do. So. No, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But I also appreciate y'all picking out the folks that y'all like, Carl, David, and really setting forward a case for them because that's what I asked for. Uh, Letty Brown, Dante Stills, thank you so much. This is mm-hmm. fun. I'm glad that y'all are willing to play along. I'm here with West Virginia head coach Neil Brown. Coach Brown, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you being here, Coach. Uh, I want to start with this. You got a dynamic tailback and Letty Brown returning second leading rusher in this conference last year. How much of the load are you looking for him to carry? Well, he's definitely our most experienced running back, uh, most experienced skill position player. He's been our most productive player on the offensive side of the ball. Um, And I think for him, it's to continue to grow, to continue to climb. And I think his best is still in his future. Um, He ran the ball really well inside the tackles last year. Thought he did an elite job of breaking tackles. I think he can be a better outside runner. I thought he did a good job of catching the ball out of the backfield and running routes, split out. I think he can continue to improve, and we've got to do a better job of utilizing him in that role. Um, And he also can do a better job in blitz protection. So I think there's real growth there for him. He had a tremendous offseason. He had a great spring practice. Our our expectations for him are extremely high. How does it feel to know who your guy is at quarterback going into preseason? Well, it's a benefit for sure. Um, Jared Dagey has has played a lot of uh, football. Uh, Bowling Green, and then here, you know, he's played 13 games. He's been successful. He's won. Um, you know, he was toward the top of the Big 12 in passing last year. He's cerebral. He understands the game. Uh, real student. Dad, uh, you know, father, very successful high school coach in the state of Texas. Um, and he's had a tremendous offseason. So I, I think that, that he's ready to step up. We need him to step up. Um, he played really well during the middle part of the season last mm. year. Um, was really effective. Uh, he didn't do anything to get us beat. You know, very low number of interceptions. We've got to be more accurate on the deep ball. You know, and then we've got to do a better job of moving in the pocket and, and not taking sacks. And he's capable of doing both. In this your second go around here in this league, what have you noticed as a head coach that you might not have noticed before? Well, the, the league is so different than when I was here as a coordinator in 10, 11, and 12. It was a high scoring league. Um, you know, ton of uh, of pro quarterbacks in the league at that time. Um, The air raid and spread offenses, defenses hadn't figured out exactly how to to defend us yet. And so now, as you come back in this league, you know, um, there's been so much turnover coaching wise. Um, And if you look at it, there's more defense being played in this league. Uh, Some of the best defenses in the country last year were in the Big 12. Um, 
the also are also special teams are so much so much better than they were when I was here in ten, eleven, and twelve, and so the league's changed. Um, I think from top to bottom, the, it, it's extremely competitive. You know, I think that it's a tough nine game stretch, and you play everybody, you see everybody every year. Um, there's there hasn't been a whole lot of difference in, in really teams two through nine uh, during during my tenure here at West Virginia, and so fortunately we were able to move. In 20, we moved from the bottom kind of to the middle. Now we got to take a significant step and move to the top tier of the league, and that's the goal. One of the things you were outstanding at last year is time in the secondary. Your guys were just amazing back there in really defending vertically. Mm -hmm. How do you teach them to do that? Well, you got to practice. You got to play the ball, and you know one of our one of our really objectives defensively is keep the ball in front of us mm -hmm. and and minimize explosive plays. Well, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. Well. The first thing you got to do to minimize explosive plays is you got to be able to tackle in space, uh, which we were really, really good tackling team last year. You got to get up pressure on the quarterback, which is something we've been able to do the last two years. And you got to really train the guys to run the football. You know, if you do miss a tackle, you got to have somebody there to make it. And so in the secondary, um, you know, what we've done is we do a good job of mixing up coverages. But our, our objective is keep the ball in front of us. And our guys did a great job of that last year. And the expectation is we'd continue to do that. Coach, what was the last job you had before going into coaching? Last job, I was I sold advertising for a magazine, and I wasn't very good at. It. That's why I'm in coaching. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, Coach, before I let you go, I put together what I thought was the all-time best offense and defense to play in the Big Twelve. Okay. I would like you to take a look at it and tell me where I messed up and who you might add, who you might take off. So, you know. Des Bryant is one guy that jumps out to me. Okay. Oklahoma State. That quarterback is so hard. <laughs> Good luck, yeah, right? Yeah, it, it's – I mean, where do you – who do you leave off? You know, it, it's so hard. So, I don't envy you uh, on that. Um, you know, receivers, there's been so many too. But Des Bryant sticks out. Crabtree sticks mm. out. You know, Tavon Austin's got to be on it. Tavon Austin has the best college. Tavon Austin has the best college highlight tape of anybody that maybe has ever played. Coach, I come up an Oklahoma fan. You ain't got to tell me. <laughs> I was I was around for that. Yeah. yeah no. Because uh, argument I made with myself is Justin Blackman won that award twice, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then just seeing yeah. what I got to see from. He had a great year. Mm. You know. Um, you know our guy David Long was so productive in this league too. If you look at back, he was defense player of the year, multiple years, first year, first team all conference. He was a really good player. And um, a heck of a nice guy. Like, yeah. yeah, that was my mm -hmm. favorite thing about David. Yeah. He always had time too. Yeah, I mean, you got a, it's hard to take anybody off. No, I but I, hey, I appreciate David Long getting a look here from you because I, I argue with myself a lot over this, and I think that's kind of the point is to say yeah. oh, this league is. has been good for 25 years. League's been league's been played at an extremely high level for a long time. Very much so. Coach Neil Brown, thank you so much, yeah, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.